Welcome Friday night live improv uh, on Facebook streaming to your facey spaces and your pagey books. Friday, an excellent night for improv. So our first game is a conducted story. We're going to quickly go around the cast and they're going to tell you what their genre is. Beth Ann, you are? American Gothic. Oh, thank you. Yes, you are. David, you are? Romance. <laughs> Margaret. Young adult. Love it. Heidi? Science fiction. Ooh, sexy science fiction. Victoria? Western. Jenny? Children's stories. That is correct. Thank you. Irene? Philosophy. Hmm, let's think about that for a second. And Jeffrey? Hysterical. Historical. <laughs> historical. I hope it is. Oh, it actually, good, good on you. And the title of our story that has never been told is Last October, the cat was in the tree. We now present to you a conducted story. Starting with you, Victoria. Well, I was out there on the range and my kitty cat, Sally, she came walking by. And I looked at Sally and I thought, now wait a minute. Sally, just yesterday, was up there in that tree. Boo! And so I thought. Please, Margaret, young adult. Well, I was I'm very excited because I had just started middle school and I was going to meet all these new friends. And I was really, really looking forward to it. But I was very worried about my cat being missing. And I know Please, I Irene, philosophy. Was the cat missing? Could the cat be in the tree? If the cat was in the tree, where was I? Was I in the schoolhouse or in the barn? What is space? How does one embody it? Please, David, romance. Thinking about my body made my heart flutter and my knees go weak. Thinking about the schoolhouse, all I could think of was the gorgeous new boy from Tennessee. Please, Jenny, children's books. And thinking about the gorgeous new boy from Tennessee, I started thinking about how he had a little cute cat too. And maybe his cat could convince my cat to get off the tree. And so I started- Bethan, American Gothic. So as I was thinking about the boy from Tennessee and my cat Sally in the tree while walking on the moors, I couldn't help but realize that my true love was still back at the castle. Please, Heidi, science fiction. And the castle floated up into the air and it flew through the stars. And I looked out and I saw cats everywhere. And then the cats turned into robot cats. Freeze, Jeffrey, historical fiction. The robot cats were first created in Soviet Russia uh, before the dissolution of the USSR. And they came here undercover. So that was how they made it uh, to Tennessee where I was. Freeze, Margaret. Well, while I was thinking about the robot cats, I also couldn't help dreaming about that new cute boy from Tennessee. And I thought I really, really had to get to know him. I think his name was Peter, but I wasn't Please, sure. uh, uh, Beth Ann. And as I thought about Peter and the robot cats in Russia, I just couldn't hardly believe that I was caught up in this world where I, I it was the only thing I could even begin to understand was that I needed to get my cat out of the tree. Please, Jenny. And once I realized I needed to get my cat out of the tree, I told myself that I can do this. I can do whatever I want to do with my life. And 
I have the power to get my cat off the tree. And David, so, David. And so I put on my best pair of high heels, a little bit of blush, and I strode towards the tree confidently. But as I approached it, I realized. Freeze, Victoria. That I wasn't in a tree at all. I'd walked into the saloon and I walked up and I put my horse over there and I opened those doors and I said, hey, who in here's got my cat? And they Please. all- Heidi. And then they all disappeared into thin air. But it was October, not last October, it was October in 2010. Freeze, Irene. But time is a juxtaposition. When we embody time, the time becomes obsolete. We are just within the moment. So the cat was with me the entire time. Freeze, as Jeffrey. So the physicists who invented the robot cats decided to release them this October to commemorate the October Revolution in Russia and how his family, who were once the working class, rose into power in Russia. And Free the Jenny. And this is why, class, that we shouldn't allow robot cats to walk around randomly. And we shouldn't allow kids to own robot cats because they cannot responsibly take care of them. And that is our story. Give them a round of applause. There's a moral to it there. Never let your robot cats out on their own. We're going to be back with more improv Friday night, live improv right here, just a couple minutes. Thanks for joining us. <laughs>